Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Clear with Dr Nick. Calculating area in square metres applied to construction. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. Here are the aims for this video. By the end, you should be able to measure and find the area of a space in square metres. This video uses the metric system, and in particular metres and millimetres. If you are not sure how to convert between metres and millimetres, watch the video Maths Made Clear Metres and Millimetres. It is important to know when we are talking about length and when we are talking about area. Another word for length is distance. We measure length directly in metres, millimetres and kilometres. Some people still use the ancient measuring units of inches, feet, yards and miles. Area is another name for surface. We give area in numbers of squares. In construction, we generally talk about square metres. We might need to know the area in order to decide how many tiles, how much paint or how much grass seed we need. Area is also used for saying how big a house is or a piece of land. To find an area, we need to multiply two length measurements. I have found that many people get confused about area, so we will start at the beginning to make sure you really understand what area is. It is good to remember that area is always about the number of squares. How many squares in this purple rectangle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 squares. There are three rows of squares and each row has four squares. When we multiply three by four we get twelve. What is the area of this orange rectangle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are two rows of six squares. When we multiply two by six we get twelve. What is the area of this green rectangle? One, two, three, four, five. We can skip count the rows in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There are 30 squares. 6 times 5 equals 30. Counting squares can only work when we have whole squares and not too many of them. It is more practical to use a formula. Area equals length times width. Often the length is the longest number. However, it is fine if you get the numbers around the other way. The length of this rectangle is 5 and the width is 3. Area equals length times width which is 5 times 3 which equals 15 squares. Use these green rectangles for practice. Area equals length times width which is 7 times 2 which equals 14 squares. Area equals length times width which is 8 times 4 which equals 32 squares. Area equals length times width, which is 5 times 5, which equals 25 squares. This is a special kind of rectangle called a square. The rule is still the same. You multiply the two numbers. And now we see why counting squares is not going to work all the time. The length is 10 and the width is 6. The area is 10 times 6, which is 60 squares. It does not matter what you call the two measurements or which way round they go. The important thing is that the measurements are at right angles to each other. Some formulas use length and width, others use base and height. We are now going to find the area of some objects in buildings. This is a mat or a rug or a carpet from my living room. In order to know how much carpet shampoo to use, I need to know the area of the mat. Here are the steps I'm going to take. Measure, convert, calculate units. I measure the length of the mat to be 2,300 millimetres and the width is 1,675 millimetres. You can see the metres marked out here on the mat. Convert. We turn the measurements into metres. 2,300 divided by 1,000 is 2.3 metres. 1,675 divided by 1,000 is 1.675 metres. Calculate. Area equals length times width which equals 2.3 times 1.675, which equals 3.8525. Units. We give the answer as 3.8525 square metres. It would be sensible to round it to 3.85 square metres. 
you can see on this mat that there are just under 4 square metres. Let's find the area of this small building that has a sleep out and garage. Here are the steps, measure, convert, calculate units. My tape is too short, so I measure 7 metres, which is 7,000 millimetres, then 4,930 millimetres. The building is 11,930 millimetres long, and it is 6,360 millimetres wide. Convert. We turn the measurements into metres. 11,930 divided by 1,000 is 11.93. 6,360 divided by 1,000 is 6.36. Calculate. Area equals length times width, which equals 11.93 times 6.36, which equals 75.8748. Units. We give the answer that the building is 75.8748 square metres. We round this to 75.9 square metres. We can also use Google Maps to find the areas of buildings of interest. The Excel Conference Centre in London was outfitted as a field hospital, NHS Nightingale, in the COVID-19 crisis. It is 382 metres long and 238 metres wide. Area equals length times width, which is 382 times 238, which equals 90,916 square metres. That, of course, is just one level. St Paul's Cathedral is not exactly a rectangle, but we can get an idea of the area of its footprint. We measure the cathedral as 162 metres long and 70 metres wide. If we assume that it's a rectangle, the area is 11,340 square metres. You could fit about eight St Paul's into Excel. And then what about the Beehive, a prominent landmark in Wellington, New Zealand? What is its footprint? This video only covers finding areas of rectangles and the beehive's a circle, so we will be looking at the rectangular structure underneath the circle part of the beehive. It is 84 metres by 56 metres, which comes to 4,704 square metres. You could fit about two and a half beehives in St Paul's Cathedral. Now, a word of caution. A square kilometre is 1,000 metres by 1,000 metres, which is 1 million square metres. A square kilometre is not a thousand square metres, it is a million square metres. It would take nearly 10 Excel conference centres to fill a square kilometre. Builders work off plans which show dimensions. This is a very simple plan for a high country hut with decking. You need to find the two measurements that are applied to the area in question. The measurements are given in metres so we will not need to convert them. The area is length times width, which is 4 times 1.5, which is 6 square metres. Pause the video and calculate the area of the whole building, including the decking. The area is length times width, which is 6.5 times 5.2, which is 33.8 square metres. This video covered finding rectangular areas applied to construction. For more videos, read the description below. Please like this video, share, subscribe and even become a channel member. A big thank you to channel members who helped to make this video possible.